start with Liverpool. So Liverpool, successful year last year. They um, competed for a lot of trophies. Ultimately, I believe they just finished with two um, domestic trophies. Um, uh, Mane left, Sadio Mane left to Bayern Munich, and they brought in Darwin Nunez. Um, my whole thing with them is they didn't need to make too many changes. Obviously, they're already a successful team in the Premier League in Europe. Um, I just want to know how Nunez will will do immediately for the team. Will he be able to provide an immediate impact and replace a little bit of the load that you're losing with Sadio Mane? Um, and what will that mean for the likes of Firmino? What will that mean for Jota? Where will they find their um, spot in the attack? And ultimately, I want to see if they continue their success um, being you know, consistently a top two team in the Premier League alongside City. So I'm excited to see what Liverpool do this year. But what do you think of Liverpool, what they've done so far? Uh, yeah, it felt a little bit like a transition summer. Um, a lot of their big players are nearing 30. And normally when you turn 30 or get sort of that point, it's sort of a measuring stick of like, you know, how close they are to the end of their prime or, you know, can they extend their career a little bit? But I mean, I like what they did overall. They needed to get younger. Uh, the last thing you want uh, is all your guys to age at once and you don't have the, the right replacements to get to get in there. So um, I think the Nunez signing was a little bold. I, I like I liked his his tape last year, but still like very raw. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's a very immediate results business. And, you know, if there's that like adaptation period, um, the press over there is not going to really let him off easy if he struggles right away so um i'm a little skeptical that it's going to be an immediate impact um one thing that i am a little hopeful for is that he's playing with better players around him than he was at benfica so that might take the burden off him a little bit but um overall i like what they did just because if you watched a lot of their games last year um especially in the finals they played in three finals last year the uh, fa cup uh, Carabao Cup, I think that's what it's still called, and the Champions League. And in those three finals, they had zero goals. So they won two of the two of the cups on penalties, and then they lost to Real Madrid. So that tells me that against like the very best teams, they don't have the they didn't have like a solution to generate enough scoring chances. So I'm curious to see if Nunez can fix that. Yeah. Um... I don't want to judge too much on the preseason, but I did see him miss a big chance against United in their preseason game. And my only thing with that is, like you said, he'll have a lot of a lot more better players around him than he did um, prior. But can he be one of the guys that can that can lead their line? Like, will he be consistently getting minutes and will he thrive with the likes of Jota and um, Salah alongside him? because he definitely has, you know, the tools around him to succeed. Um, we've seen a lot of strikers, I feel like, in the Premier League lately that have, you know, been high profile, come to the Premier League and, you know, kind of fall off a little bit. But it is a young signing. Um, he has time to develop. He doesn't need to immediately, you know, play uh, just because they already have a lot of depth up in the attack. But I just want to understand if they're going to, you know, get much out of him in their first year with him, because I know he did. He did definitely um, have some good stats in the Champions League last year. Um, so maybe that could be a tournament where he he plays and features a lot more than in the Premier League. But we'll have to see. Um, Mane is definitely a big loss, but they're getting older. They got to they gotta make some moves. Um, they extended Salah. I think Salah deserved that. Uh, Jota will definitely be a guy that you're going to see feature a lot for them. Um, maybe Firmino, maybe he gets more game time. Um, he's kind of you know, not been as consistent the last couple of years, but I think Firmino maybe, you know, will be expected to provide a little bit more of an impact this year. But yeah, Liverpool, they don't really have too much to worry about. They're coming in with the same the same unit for the most part. Um, and they're obviously coming off a lot of um, big games last year. Didn't get the job done in some of them. Um, but yeah, second in the Premier League, second Champions League, then one, two domestic trophies. So yeah, we'll have to see how they how they uh not necessarily rebound, but if they keep it consistent this year and you know continue to compete for trophies. 